Hi friends and uh, fellow backers, thanks for tuning me, tuning in on my live stream once again. Okay, yeah. So remember, hello, hi friends. Yeah. So remember to support or pledge me on my Kickstarter project. Yeah. So in today's sessions, I'll be giving you a quick glimpse of what you can expect from my book after my first share link during yesterday live stream. Yes, it was for my chapter one for my book. So now it's chapter two. For those those of you who didn't manage to join me in our pre in my previous sessions, don't worry. You can still view my video. Click here. Yep. So before I start, let's do a quick recap of what I have shared in the last video stream yesterday. So yesterday I focused on uh, what truly ignites your inner flame and what you could possibly find your passions. I will also share with you my personal journey in pursuing my passions and some mistakes I had along the way that make me a better person and entrepreneur. If you can recall at the end of the stream, I mentioned that the most important step of any journey is to take that very first step, the first one. Some of you might say that it's easier to say than done. I agree. Yep. This brings me to the next topic of my book, Courage, the second chapter. Okay, let me begin with this rather. Uh, I took it from John Maxwell. Yep. So he was saying about this uh, five frogs are sitting on a log. Four of them decided to jump off. How many of them are left? So you can actually take some time to digest this reader and keep this in mind throughout the video and I will let you know at the end of the video. Okay? So everyone has different means of taking their first step. Some might start off badly while others are lucky to begin with a head start. But courage is what it takes to even embark on the journey. For me, I would say I started off like any average person would or maybe I would say below average. Okay? Climbing my way up uh, still looking to the top <laughs> okay yeah hoping to reach my goals okay I remember that the time when I was in polytechnic yeah that was like very long time ago right that I took up multiple part-time jobs yep five of them five jobs as a means to earn my as earn uh, exposure and income money as I faced difficulty in doing well in school I didn't want to prioritize doing well in my educations Okay, so rather I actually wanted, I want I needed some uh, other skill to compensate for the lack of my academic achievement. So I wanted to experience some different kind of jobs in order to know what suit me best in the future. Yep. So I still deeply remember the times when I worked as a part timer in the stadium, the national stadium. Yeah, I actually earned as much as two hundred dollars in a short few hours. So don't worry, I, I didn't draw, I didn't do any drugs. <laughs> okay, so during uh, those days, uh, I actually buy snacks, drinks from the mama shop at the stadium. I bring those things and then I go out and sell. So in that two, three hours of sales, um, I just mark up. So if I buy the drink at 50 cents, I'll sell it at $1. So um, people who know me, then why, you know that I'm actually a... Uh, very introvert persons. I'm a very private person. Uh, I enjoy reading. I read a lot of books. I enjoy buying books as well. So, uh, you know, at a young age, as, as a teenager, it's not easy to just go out and then there are thousands and thousands of people in the stadium watching football match and then start shouting that I want to sell this. It is difficult. So I think courage is very important because I'm a super introvert. Yep. Um, my nickname is uh, Bookworm, Su Chong. So I would rather hide behind the book, you know. So as a teenager, I actually have to go out to the stadium, master the courage. Yes, initially, business was bad. But actually, as time goes by, right, I got, I got the hang of it. And I would say that I will I actually usually top among everyone. So after some time, I also don't know why. I didn't do, I didn't continue, maybe because I took away too much businesses. Uh, joke aside. Yeah, uh, um, so so it was some little tricks that actually helped me. Um, I think shouting alone wouldn't help. Putting on a, a smiling face is important. 
uh, and also doing a bit of small talk with the guy or whoever or just tell the the children hey your papa is very good father he buy you ice cream or he buy you this twisty so that actually helped to move out the business a bit so that also helped me to equip a bit of uh, the eq aspect about life about earning that money and 200 dollars in that short word is a big money yeah so um so courage yeah so i and and it earned me a lot i think it is something that you cannot learn in the school or in the book that you study right okay so next thing similarly all this courage can be applied to your journey as an entrepreneur or even your life when you hope to achieve a certain goal in mind it takes just one step to start pursuing your passions your dream your goal and it's the first step that makes the greatest impact okay so courage doesn't just end here the courage to do it is also important in the process of you achieving your goals it always keep me going in the most difficult of time because i have this do it spirit in me that pushes me forward keeping me on track in my journey towards my own success um and i thought there's something that maybe i can share with you about that um maybe just debate a bit uh to uh my uh first few years when i joined uh, i was knocking door i was doing strict survey and you know it's not easy right but actually i did it so well then um so i actually become i actually got the hang of it i almost like closing insurance case every day okay that's a nice thing about that but behind that okay um i, I remember the one of the fearful journey was i uh, was at private house doing a uh, survey and this mac dog big dog actually came and run i i think i lost something when i run <laughs> because i was like oh the dog is so fierce so they are they are this kind of thing um there are people also slam the law on the hdb but actually you think about it uh, let me ask you do you think the dog actually really target on me no uh. so similarly did the man who slammed the door he is did he really target on me did he like oh i know this guy is coming so i'm going to target on him and uh, i'm going to make sure he have the best the best best uh experience from my house no actually you know uh whether it's the that animal the dog or that man right sometimes we are just caught in our emotional uh and then we knowing someone a stranger like me just appear and then he just got these sheets so uh i realized that uh in the early part so it helped me to uh resolve to move on so courage is not just about having to face it but courage is actually to continue even my mood was affected and continue to actually say okay don't worry the door of the hdb stand on me the door uh bug me and chase me i will still continue because remember what is important is my goal what is important is my passions it is not what those disturbance those whatever nonsense is actually stopping me right and, and that is courage very important this quality is an effective way to practice skills that can be helpful in your future endeavors and are transferable between careers yeah so i for therefore i actually strongly recommend you to cultivate cultivate this quality into your work and your life as i, be, I believe there is only advantage in acquiring courage yeah and of course then you have this quality called resilience okay anyway personally i wouldn't i would not be able to describe courage to its fullest definition but i believe that it can be a cause or maybe a process sometimes can also be considered an effect however it's something that emerged from we need yourself and we have a clear goal in mind you know exactly that you strongly desire to want to achieve so to me courage is an annoying me powerful tool that pushes me to move forward into the unknown with the intention to succeed with courage i was able to experience many new things in my life that made me a better person and crafted my own success for who i am today and on the surface by experiencing new things we tend to have immediate feedback for our own experience right 
Sometimes the experience might be painful, miserable, while others could be memorable experiences. But there is actually a deeper meaning behind this sensory stimulus, and I thought it's important for me to highlight to you. Yep. And experiences are something that will help us to become stronger also. So and especially the positive experiences. Okay. So take for example when you face adversity, it will deter you from moving on and create painful moments that you would rather stay away from, right? Sometimes you might even be mentally drained in such a scenario. And you might question yourself, should I even continue? Why I even succeed? Am I doing it all wrong? So I'm here to tell you that a positive result does not mean you fail. Even the greatest invest inventors failed and didn't see any positive outcome from their tests. Yet they carry on and create the finest thing in our human life. That our scientist uh, Albert Einstein. Yep. The path you take, the route you choose, and the hard work you put in will pay off one day so keep on exploring until you find your true passions when the days come and put in the effort make your dream a reality with that being said i hope you stay truthful to yourself and keep to do what you truly desire where does courage even rise from to me courage is like mindset and attitude it is something that you can cultivate with the right practice you can try many new things and experience them but at the end of the day, you will notice that you tend to fall into a trap of giving up too early. Here's the problem. Many people tend to go out there with a try my best attitude. This created the misconception in your mind that tells you it is okay to fail as long as you try your best. However, to me, this is just a misleading way of life and it creates a false sense of satisfaction that makes you think you have achieved something from trying okay so today let me share with you something that i practice and see significant change in my life try changing this try your best into do your best slowly you will notice you tend to do better at your work and the attitude in your mind is not to fall back but to fall forward people try their best and fall back on their plans while giving your best tends to put you in a position that is better in your initial status. Okay, I want to share you something. Um, when I was um, doing road shows, um, the first at first few attempt was miserable, and I think it was because we didn't know whether can we sell insurance in road shows. Uh, we are the pioneer batch. Before I joined, uh, I. I'm very sure, I'm very confident, no one ever done it before. So I was a pioneer batch that actually does the road shows doing insurance. So when you are new right, and you never see anyone have successfully done it, you didn't know how to do it. So a lot of trying. And uh, and every time when I open a store, okay, shopping mall outside, uh, at the bus station, open a store, put a table, my attitude is like not motivated. Yeah, because I also don't know whether end of the day got people talk to me or not. So first few days, sit there watching, thinking, wasting time, buying drinks. Then uh, subsequently, we actually brainstorm, and then we encourage each other. So we actually understand a few things about human behavior, and and we experimented on it. So it was a trying period, the initial state until we take actions take the responsibility to uh, improve on it and then we are uh, we earn that confidence so we eliminate that trying so so when i start to have confidence i actually have this attitude have the attitude that okay today i'm open store i'm the road shows i will have an insurance case i will definitely talk to someone and make sure it's an ethical prospecting is an ethical way of delivering and make sure the insurance is a very honest business that I'm doing and I close the sales so every day I just have the attitude remove that trying today I open a store I'm here to do a honest living and I want to be an honest practice so I have people and I have that attitude projecting it's on me when I have that feeling that uh, thinking 
people see that I'm positive and then they tend to actually want to want to know what is the what is what is something that I'm excited. Yeah, I'm helping people to solve their problem in life. I'm taking away their financial issue, making them feel more uh, stable, making feel more assured. So I'm helping them. So wouldn't it be a very uh, positive matter for me to actually do it in a road shows? Yeah. So when I have the attitude, it becomes easier. And I actually really got a lot of sales from the road shows. So uh, it's attitude. And then don't use, don't ever use try. Just do it, okay? So I would think that in life, there is no try, but only do. It is either you do it or you don't. Never start something half-heartedly. The outcome will never be a present one, I can assure. And I'm sure you understand that. At the end of the day, right, you need to remember that courage plays a huge role in our journey. But also as a person, it can change a person entirely if you apply in the right place. However, this quality is only a force that pushes you into embarking on your journey towards your goals. Persistence and consistency is what truly keep us on track towards your success and ensure that you reach the finishing line. These factors will be discussed in other sessions as it's quite a big topic itself. So back to our topic. If you have the courage to try your best, why not do your best? Looking at it, it's quite simple, right? But to put it in practice, you will need time and effort. And I sincerely hope that you guys can find this helpful and make a positive impact in your life with this tip of mine. Okay? Don't try. Go for it. Yep. Oh, and before I end off, remember the reader I, I mentioned at the start. If you miss it and have forgotten, it's about the five frogs sitting on a log. Four of them decided to jump off. Guess how many are left? Um, I think maybe you say it's one, right? And some of them maybe say, oh no, maybe four. Actually, the answer are five. You know what? Even though they decided to jump off, have they jumped off the dog yet? So your response will determine your outcome. So let that sing in inside of you. So when they decided, they actually never jumped. Lah. So this five of them still sit on the dog. And that is the power of procrastination that actually hold you back. Don't procrastinate. When you decided, just do it. Okay? So I hope you are not the five frogs. You are the one that have the the have gotten the courage to jump it off. Okay? Be decisive. Okay. With that, I'll end it off here. I hope you enjoy the, the session today. And stay tuned for more content uh, every day, Monday to Friday at night. And please remember to help spread the words about my project as we are coming to the end of this crowdfunding campaign and we are almost there. We have a target of 300 backers. Once again, thank you for your support and I will see you again. Okay, let me just give you an update. As of today, we have uh, 72 backers. Okay, it's getting closer. Yep, step by step. Small one, I understand. Don't worry, back me up. So 300 of you, okay, please do not keep me a secret. Please share with your friends, your families, your colleagues. And you can just do a small pledge. $2. I hope uh, it won't make a lot of difference to you. But I think it will make a big difference to me in this project. Thank you everyone. And once again, thank you for the support. And I'll talk to you again shortly. Okay. So you can actually go to my website to actually check out the book. What is it about? How does it help in terms of job creations? in this kind of pandemic situation that we are we are we are facing yeah and you can go to crowdfunding website to actually support me have a look kepo kepo a bit don't have don't want to support it's okay just kepo a bit also can go and share thank you good night bye see you guys